Hey guys, Lisa Callagy here to share with you a video on mystery science. So in this video, we're going to talk about two things, mini lessons and the curiosity jar. And these two pieces of mystery science are actually connected. So let's start with the curiosity jar. I'm going to click on that link um, from the menu bar at the top. And the curiosity jar is really just a place for teachers to type a question that maybe, well, one of their students has asked. And these questions are put into a jar in Mystery Science, and they're every week, a, three questions are selected out of the jar. And people that watch the mini lessons get to vote on which question they want answered for the next week and that would be the next week's mini lesson. So that's how they're connected. Students ask questions, it goes into a jar, the jar is um, opened up and selected, three questions are selected from there from Mystery Science, and those three questions are put into this week's, the current week's mini lesson for everyone to vote on to see which question will be answered in the following week's mini lesson. So that's the curiosity jar. Let's take a look at the mini lessons. So this week's mini lesson is how do you fix a broken heart? And uh, asked by this student in the United States. So let's just take a look and see what's available. First, we can play this. It's a video. Before we do that, Let's look underneath and see how this video um, can be shared with students with a link. So you can click on um, that link to copy and paste and paste into your LMS. We don't use Google Classroom, so we're not uh, using this feature. And then there are extensions that go along with this video. There are ways students can reflect on the lesson and Mystery Science is allowing us to copy and paste them into an assignment if we'd like. All right, so let's start this mini lesson. Okay, so you'll see you're able to stop and start the normal um, tools down here in the bottom of the video raise the volume, there's some settings here, and then you could do a full screen. I wanna scroll down a little bit and show you that there, the mini lessons actually, um, they are a collection, there, are, there is a collection of mini videos. So as mini lessons, as time moves forward, they keep putting the previous episodes down below the current one. So you can kind of click on any one of these and revisit these mini lessons if you happened to miss them in the week before. So there's many different topics of mini lessons. So just um, looking at each tile, you'll see you have the five minute lesson and then uh, there's also some that have a, a plus of top five bonus. So I'm just gonna click here. Actually, I'm gonna click on the one that everybody knows that I would click on. And that would be, why do cats purr? So I'm gonna click on the five minute lesson here and I'm gonna show you how at the top of the screen, you also have this, um, it's kind of like a jumping feature. So you're able to jump from the video to the bonus to the voting. So I just wanna show you what the voting looks like because that's specific to the curiosity jar. Okay, so that's how um, you would vote. This particular uh, voting is closed because this is a previous week's mini lesson. But for this week's mini lesson, 
you would um, you would have the opportunity to vote at the end of this mini lesson. All right, so this has been a video on mystery science, curiosity jar, and mini lessons. I hope this helps guys. Have a great day.